Before we start season four and check out the variable courtship, I did not get rid of an objective card. And taking a look here, I don't think the, even though I have two of the three, oh my God, the fence paddock is up there. Jeez, I can get that this turn. I've got that, got that. I can't give what, I don't know that I got that, but I think I can get that. Can't get, I'm gonna part ways with this. And then over here, they're just, the libraries are not happening. They do have the conservatory, so hang on to that because it would be easier to get. Sorry about forgetting that. Let's do our courtship, variable courtship. Whoa, it's an open courtship again. Remember, look at that, sporting focus, and all four counted together. Fantastic, but I gotta play those tile. Well, I gotta play that tile. So we're coming here at round 13, first turn in season four. And I need to really prepare for the national holiday as I'm at reputation level four. I've got the courtship here. I'm probably going to play that on the national holiday. And um, I want that fenced paddock. It completes that group. I don't have any money, but I'm going to pass in preparation for the national holiday. Um, take one for reputation for there, for my monument. Going to deploy a footman there to take one more and to push him back. And then I'm going to get 200 pounds for my pass. I'm not going to hire on my pass. I'm going to take 200 pounds, which allows me to acquire the fence paddock. Pick up 12 points. Very big. I like how that's set up. Come back over here for Wessex. They too are going to pass because they need to prepare for the national holiday. They're going to go big in the breakfast room. It's unfortunate here, unless they can find a library or refreshed market, uh, they are not going to make a, any objective but the underbutler. So they, uh, they are going to pass here. And if they hire on their pass, it's going to give them 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to hire on the pass only because that gives me a final play to pick up eight victory points with a higher action on the last round of the game. So what do I want to get over here? I want to get what's going to enable me to host I'm going to grab a, f a, a valet and a useful man because I can find a tile with a useful man. I forgot about that. Wow, that could be great. I can go find, I can go find a library. <laughs> ah, now you're thinking. I swear I'm missing so many things on this. You people might depose me as the uh, designer of this game for playing so badly. But, you know, hey, it's life. National holiday time. Uh, we're going to have another point here of reputation for the monument. Whoops, he forgot to rotate. And then we're also going to have um, who do I want? See, I gotta decide now. I gotta decide at the beginning. I'm going to be doing the tennis court. I don't think, ah, uh, do I have two ladies? Yes, I have two ladies. I need that. I'm short of footman, but I don't need a footman. Oh, I do need a footman for there. I'm, ah, I'm going to grab the hall boy to get myself up to five. Uh, there, and steal one more from this poor soul. And now I am going to go to the kennels. I'm going to do that there. I'm going to set you down. All right, here we go at the kennels. Oh, I can't, I can't play. I can't play. Well, she gets the bonus there. I'm going to do this. That's actually smarter, even though she's not with Charles Fairchild. So look at this. We got quite the turn going here. We've got 300, 800, 1,100 pounds. Reputation, we have one. Two, three, six, seven. So I'm going to flip to six. 
That's five, six, seven. I'm three away from last turn. I got to find my way to three reputation, but I'm going to get two on the monument and the but yes, that's good. And then there's no invites here, so let's break this down. Flip the kennels, and we have eleven hundred to spend. I'm going to come over here. That parish church requires no service. Oh, man, look at the parish church. And it'll turn into a monument, which I have for that. I forget who invented that, but thank you. I'm happy to take that for 700. Boom, 300. Ha <laughs> ha, how cool is that? Okay, I'm probably missing something because I'm rushing to finish here. My wife wants to eat dinner and I'm blocking her out of the kitchen. So we get over here, we're gonna rotate this. And this is on national holiday. We're going to come to the breakfast room. And I'm gonna set you down. So here we are, we're doing the breakfast room. We're gonna go ahead for that point of reputation. We're gonna bring this down for a screen on the young lady. We're gonna borrow from the, gonna borrow from the uh, servants quarters there go here actually we didn't need to borrow from the servants quarters there i'm going to be borrowing here so i'll come back to him we're going with our under butler now check this out so we have 400 pounds oh that's not enough you know hold up hold up one second hold up one second i am going to sub in for her i'm going to sub in him so we can get to 600 pounds. And then um, we have four and three is seven, eight, nine, ten for there, two levels of reputation. So that'll get us up to level four. And we have a screened invite. My gosh, one victory point for both of them. I'll take the lady. I did not shuffle in. We had one unsavory guest, which I was gonna dismiss, but I can't dismiss it because I gave up the lady. My light's dying. Hopefully you can see. Break this down. Breakfast room stays as is. We are going to use the useful man to go into the bag and to find the North Library, which when that happens, whoop, by the way, I gotta populate over here, Heritage Suite. Oh, I'm dying on my light, hang with me. I'm gonna find the North Library, which when you do that, you remove, you flush that, you slide down. Hold on one sec, I'm gonna try turning on the overhead light. <laughs> Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. And we're going to slide that down. The North Library comes in here, and it can be purchased for 800, which is what I have here. Is I have 800. That North Library comes over, completes that objective. That's 12 points plus one for that. That's a 13-point play on that last on that national holiday turn. We need to populate. Reach into the bag here. We have an English garden, and put that stuff back in. And we now are on the last turn of the game. We're going to rotate service here. Uh, we want to play that parish church. No service required whatsoever. Got to love that. One gentleman. Look at that. Is that not a special finish to the game? Seven reputation. <laughs> Oh, I can't play. Oh, my gosh, I can't play him. That would have been so storybook. I just got to go with him for 200 pounds because I don't have any service in 200 pounds. And we have four reputation. One, two, three, four. Going to flip to max. Seven victory point pickup. And we have 600 to spend. I'm going to grab that music room, get up three victory points. It's a, sort of a trade, but that is one of the courtship categories. Slide this down, reach in here, 
Grab the cabinet of curiosities. That's powerful. Last turn for Wessex. They would like to flip that conservatory, but things are looking grim, although they've got a hell of a pile here, hell of a stack. I would love to play that garden observatory. I never played the garden observatory. How is that possible? I don't even have a useful man. Why did I buy the garden observatory? Lessons in Bad Obsession from Dan Halligan. Wait, I do have a useful man, but I spent him, remember? He gets sent back to the box. So I am going to, uh, I am going to go ahead and, I wonder if I can do that. No, I can't. Where'd she go? Going to play those two in the tennis court, pick up 300, and dismiss Miss Elizabeth Jones to avoid those negative victory points. And we are done. So here we are at final calculations. Some might have wondered why I did not go for the extra two servants on the last play. In order to get to 13 servants, it's because I traded this guy away for the North Library to get that 12 points, and that would that puts me at 10. Two more servants is 12. I wouldn't have reached 13 servants. I uh, I made me a couple of mistakes along the way there. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the final courtship. I don't think we even need to add it up. Seven six, eight, that's 16, 23, 25, 25 and five is 30, here that's four, eight, two more for that, that's double, so that's 10, 14, so it's quite in the favor of York, and let's total it up. Well, we have a decisive victory for York, which is pretty amazing when you consider the prestige guests that um, Wessex was getting into very early in the game. When someone gets on that kind of roll and has that sort of engine that they could work, uh, that usually can be quite a problem. I, I have to tell you, if you, ever wanted, if you ever want to explore how to make many mistakes, Try to play two players at once as you film and talk. I just edited what I've been working on all along, and my God, I made more mistakes than I can, I can tabulate with a calculator. So I hope you take it for what it's worth, which is to see how the new scaling system works. We went with a full bag, and if you take a look at the market and how we finished, you can see value tiles for the last season, five, four, um, you know, a sweet six, two, five, real value uh, in the uh, in the builder's market. And then this was still a big player. Not only did this help with an objective, but here this helped uh, them get this objective as well. So hopefully that overview gives you uh, a view into the new system, if not a view in how to play well.